Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is a very exciting video because I'm finally updating you on the house. We have very much been working on this behind the scenes. I do have a few clips that I filmed as we were kind of moving in. So I thought I would throw them in here before we get into the house tour, just so you can see a little bit more of the process. It is been a hectic day. We have literally just got back from Lisbon. Late last night, me and Brad slept in this morning because we were just so, so tired. I honestly feel like we're both coming down with something, which is so annoying because we have to basically move out of our house within the next two days. So we're trying to get as much done today as we possibly can. And then we've got a van for tomorrow to bring over all of the like furniture and stuff. We've literally just rented one from a local company. I will leave them linked though, because they were so much cheaper than anything else. I was going to rent a van from Enterprise and I think it was like nearly £150 just for the 24 hours. So yeah, this place was like £80, I think. I am currently at the house. I'm sorry I haven't vlogged too much of the physical like moving process. We have been packing up things all day, but it's just been a lot. Like I know it's our fault. Like we live a very hectic life. I am literally going back away on a job in a couple of days. So yeah, this is just our life running at 100 miles an hour, but it does make it a little bit more stressful than moving already is. But that being said, I am currently trying to pack bits and bobs away in the cupboards. I've given them a good clean because they are not in the best condition at all. But I've just bought over like the glasses and um, we've got some plates and stuff here a lamp just anything we could fit in the car we have bought it over for now but this is the current state of the kitchen i am just unpacking all the glasses here i'm going to give them a quick wash and then pop them in this cupboard we've got some bowls some tequila rose shot glasses and then i'm just going to pop mugs here glasses up here we don't have too much storage in here at the moment so i'm just kind of making do but got some plates over here at the moment this is one of the boxes that we packed up um, so we've got like all sorts in here really. Most importantly, tea and sugar. That was literally the only two things that I needed in this house. Oh my God, I've just realized that that has leaked everywhere. This is gonna be a long day. It's currently like 8 p.m. by the way, and we have no intentions of stopping anytime soon. We're also planning on staying here tonight just so it's easier to pick up the van in the morning. We don't have anywhere to stay here, like no bed, nothing. I think Brad's literally just gone to B&Q to pick up some more of like these plastic containers because they are really good. They just fit so much in them, but he's gonna buy some more of those. And I was like, just see if they have a blow up bed or something. It just literally saves us like an hour and a half in the morning going back and forth. So we're gonna make it work somehow. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get to packing all of this away. I thought I'd just set you guys up on a time lapse because I personally find this part super satisfying. I do feel quite stressed, but I don't know. I wanted to bring you guys along and not give up on the vlog. <laughs>
our guardian angel, Amelia, has come to help us. And this load is what, Em? Clothes. Clothes. Oh, yeah. That's only really the reason Amelia's here. <laughs> <laughs> she can take what she wants, and Emily wouldn't even notice that it's gone. <laughs> So I know that was all super mismatched, but I just wanted to throw them in here as they were the last kind of bits that I filmed. If you've been following us on Instagram, I'll leave the handle here, but Brad does update that quite a lot and he always like brings you guys along on how he's doing things. He is completely self-taught in all of renovating. YouTube and Google is literally like his best friend. I'm very proud of him. He has absolutely smashed it. A lot of this is his doing. I'm kind of like the design side of things, like paint colours, um, especially because Brad is colourblind. But all the building and the renovating side of things he has literally been doing on his own this bedroom i have mentioned before but it is going to be a guest bedroom eventually i will show you guys our bedroom um in a second and also talk you through the plans that we have for that but let's go to the door and we can start in here the immediate change you guys will see is obviously we have switched out the doors we used to have these ones on every single room and we just got these from b and q i think they're like 35 pounds a door and we've obviously just painted them white and then i picked out these handles I will link anything I can remember down below um, in case you're interested but if I miss anything then please just leave a comment and I will reply to you with where the bits are from but yeah I grabbed these from a shop online we've got like brushed brass light switches as well but this is the entrance so this is kind of what you see from the doorway we have a gorgeous carpet now in which honestly feels like such a luxury we went from these wood floors to a really gorgeous carpet. I love the color and everything. It's literally exactly what I wanted. If you are local to Norfolk, then I will leave a link for the guy that did this for us. They were honestly so good, super efficient. I think they were in and out in like an hour if that so yeah happy with the carpet and it just makes it so cozy in here i think when you guys last saw this room we were literally just doing the dado rail and it's probably changed quite a lot since then so the main thing i get questions on is the wall color and this is egyptian cotton from dulux i will say that i feel it's a little bit of a cooler toned paint than i wanted to go for but a lot of people did say that in the light and as it kind of settles into the room, it does warm up a bit. I'm not sure if that's going to be the case, but I do love how it's kind of turned out, especially with the coving and the ceilings being white and also the skirting boards down here as well. These skirtings and all of the architraves around the doors are from Skirting World. They very kindly gifted them to us. We have actually worked with those guys quite a lot because they are perfect for what we needed and they've been super helpful so a massive shout out to them we also have obviously the blind up i did just get these from blinds to go again i just find them super easy to use i will try and link the exact ones that we got because i know they have so many options on there we also added a radiator cover in here because we were going to replace all the radiators but we were pricing up the job and it was so much money to do so so we just thought they're literally fine as they are they just don't look that cute so i grabbed this from wayfair and I mean it does the job um and then yeah this is like an overview of the rest of the room obviously we've got our old bed in here this is a super king bed so it is massive um which is really nice for us but when this does become the guest room i am just going to put a double bed in here i found this one that i'll pop on screen from dusk and i'm thinking of going with that because i feel like it's nice and neutral with the headboard i think it would look cute in here bedding and everything is a mix of like h&m um, dusk is where this little blanket's from. All of the pillows are Dusk and H&M as well. And you've probably seen this similar setup in our old house, like the bedside lamps and everything is all the same. They are from the White Company and our bedside tables are just from Ikea. These little handles on them, these are from H&M. And then we had this built-in wardrobe here, which again had one of the brown doors on it. So we've also replaced that for a B&Q door. Brad actually built a kind of storage unit. So he did film this whole process on Instagram, but these are all the old doors and he just cut them up to make like shelves and then popped a rail in here as well so we have some really good storage for like bedding and clothes that I have no other space for um, and I got these boxes from Ikea it works really well in this space then we just have our William Wood mirror here this is like the arch one I always get questions about this they honestly have so many on their website any kind of like trending mirror you see they have them for a really affordable price they have like the pond ones and everything 
I would highly recommend those guys. I got this years ago. It's traveled literally everywhere with us and somehow it's still intact. But yeah, that is the bedroom. I'll give you a little sweep around again. We've obviously got a fan in the corner, which isn't that cute, but needed. Really happy. It just feels so nice and like calm in here. Everything is very, very neutral. So then coming out of the bedroom, we have this room here, which has had a drastic change. Again, I think the last time you saw this, we were taken off the skirting boards and this is now our wardrobe room. This room I would say is not the biggest of bedrooms. So we decided to use it as a wardrobe room. I feel like if it came to it, this could easily be transformed into a nursery. Uh, we don't know how long we're going to stay here, but we could potentially be needing nursery one day. So for now we have just popped some Ikea Pax wardrobes in here. We actually managed to get the tall ones because the height of the ceilings in this whole house are really quite tall, which is nice. So yeah, that is what you will see on the left hand side. And then this is the newest thing that Brad has done. He's actually paneled this wall and I feel like it's really finished it off in here. This is kind of like my temporary desk set up at the moment because I don't really have another space in the house where I can work for now but I am actually planning on building a little office outside at some point but obviously it's going to be a big investment it's going to take a bit of time so I've just got this in here for now and then I think in the long run we're just going to have like a, a nice mirror in here and keep this space quite clear but the paneling again this was gifted to us from skirting world these little picture rails and they are so easy to use so easy to put up brad actually invested recently in a nail gun and i think it's the best thing he's ever bought he will not stop raving about it but to do jobs like this it just makes it so quick and easy and because all of their railings are made out of mdf they are really easy to kind of pop into place. They're super light. It's come out really well. So again, the wall color in here is Egyptian cotton. We've just kind of gone for the same. We've got the coving all done. So that is all fixed and it looks lovely. We've also got the new architraves in. We currently don't have a door on this room yet, but I think it's downstairs. It just needs to obviously be fitted. Brad has actually been fitting all the door handles himself as well. Like he's bought a router and these doors obviously come with no like mechanism in them no handles nothing and he's been like cutting everything out he was actually doing it by hand before he got the router and he was literally like using a chisel and a hammer again we've got the same blinds to go blinds in here i'm not sure whether we're going to be able to get a radiator cover for in here because we obviously have this wardrobe door this might just have to stay the same but we actually painted these as well and gave them a bit of a freshen up with a rust-oleum paint i went for like a matte white i didn't want them to be super glossy or anything so i feel like it refreshes them without obviously having to fork out a load of money for some new radiators with the wardrobes i have my side here these are not organized at all um i need to go through all my clothes and really clear them out but we obviously have some hanging space and then because they're the tall ones we have some more of the storage boxes up here and then we've got the same setup that we had in the last house so we've got drawer space three drawers at the top and then a cage at the bottom which literally works perfectly so that is what's inside the wardrobes and then this one at the end i kind of got for just a bit more storage really um again not organized but I just configured these to have shelves all the way down and then we've got four cages at the bottom. I need to buy some more like crates and stuff to go in here. And then coming out of the wardrobe room and turning back on yourself, we have this cupboard here. This actually used to be where the water tank was, but we've changed our boiler and we now have a combi boiler downstairs. So we didn't need to use this space for that. So Brad's actually built in our washing machine and tumble dryer in here. And I do love it, it works really well. Like we've got it all plumbed in and everything. There's obviously a water supply up here now, which we've got put in. But the only thing we're struggling with is storage for our washing bits. So we kind of have this dead space here. I don't know if you can see around the corner, like there's a load of space in here. So we could potentially knock something out of here and put like a drawer or cupboard in, but I just don't know how it would look. So if you have any ideas on where we can kind of incorporate some storage into here, then I'd be super appreciative. But for now it works perfectly. Like having your washer dryer upstairs is ideal because I'd have to get changed up here, take my clothes downstairs, wash them, bring them back upstairs. Whereas it's literally all just in one place here. 
and we pop them straight away in the wardrobe room. So that is how we have reused that cupboard. And then turning around to this way, this is where everything kind of feels a bit the same. Um, you guys might remember we have the toilet in here, still very much the same. It is just in this little room on its own, but we have a solution we think for the bathroom. So with that being currently separate and then the bathroom in here, we are basically planning on knocking out this wall here. So this obviously goes through to the toilet. So we're gonna knock that out, keep this set up pretty much the same, like with the bath shower and then the sink. Um, and then it will basically be one bathroom. We'll pop the toilet on the back wall and yeah, it will just be like an L shape, which I think will work a lot better. But for right now, like I say, this is all the same. Um, I really don't love the bathroom at all, but it works. We've got an electric shower and everything, so it's fine for now. Before we go downstairs, I might as well show you this room here, which will eventually be our master bedroom, but just brace yourself because this is the dumping ground. <laughs> I mean, I say that is the dumping ground and Brad's workshop like this little tiny section is where he is cutting things, painting things, it's a lot. <laughs> this is just a room that I absolutely close the door on and just forget about, which is quite nice. So yeah, that is upstairs. We have obviously the landing here as well, which goes down the stairs. Brad has started painting this. So we started painting it white, but the paint that we've got is not the best. So I think he's gonna get just like a Dulux one um, and go over this again, but it's already a lot brighter in here, which is nice. And then obviously the stairs have not been carpeted yet. This will be the absolute last job because as you can tell, there is mess everywhere. We don't wanna put a nice cream carpet in here and then completely ruin it. I'm currently at the bottom of the stairs and we have the like dining area in this way and then this way we have what was the lounge. So I say what was the lounge and again, please excuse all the stuff, it's a work in progress. This whole room basically used to just be completely open and we have a little porch out there which we're gonna kind of renovate. I think we're just gonna plaster over this and patch it up. Um, but we're not going to do too much to it. We're just going to put in some storage and stuff and it'll pretty much stay the same. We're going to change our front door. So yeah, you used to kind of walk in here and then it was just like a really big room. So we decided to try and divide it up a bit so we could give ourselves some more storage in here as well. So Brad actually built this wall. So we now have a stud wall dividing what will now be the snug and then a corridor here as you walk in the door. And then all of these boxes are actually some more wardrobes from Ikea. So these are some more PAX ones and these are going to go all the way along this wall, like literally up into here. I actually went for the much slimmer one. So I think they're only 30 centimeters depth. Um, and I've basically got a load of shoe racks, some more shelves, I think, and then the hanging space, you basically hang things like flat, if that makes sense. So we got it for like coat storage, obviously shoe storage. I think I've bought enough for you to fit like 30 pairs of shoes in there. We just thought it was a bit of a better use of space. I like the idea of walking into the house and having like a corridor in. It was mainly for the storage aspect so we can have all the units across here and still have plenty of space in the corridor and the snug. But yeah, this is still a job that is underway. Brad has actually just finished the wall or putting up the plasterboard today. So we now need to get the plasterers in to go over all of this and make it look a little bit more like an internal wall. So that is this area and what's gonna be happening in here. And then this is currently the snug. We literally don't sit in here. I set this out a little while ago, like a few months ago when we have friends coming over and it all looked really cute. And ever since then, we've literally just not sat in it. But we have found a sofa that we love. We fell in love with it in DFS a little while ago and we've measured it and it is literally like the perfect fit for pretty much this entire room. So when I say snug, I mean, this is literally come in, sit down, watch TV. There's not gonna be much else in here. It's just gonna be a cute little room. And we actually get the light in here in the evening, which is really, really nice. So yeah, this will be sofa all the way down here, like an L-shaped one. And then this wall, we're gonna be building not like a media wall, but we are gonna mount the TV on the wall. And I think I wanna do like some paneling kind of decor around it. Again, I'll pop some pictures on screen of ideas that I like the look of. Um, and then yeah, this will just be like the downstairs little TV room, which will be perfect because going back through this way, 
you guys might remember this room from the original house tour but this is currently the like dining area which again we don't use it's just storage but this will be like the start of the extension so our plans are fingers crossed everything goes to plan we are going to be extending out into the garden pretty far so we're hoping for like a five to six meter extension which is massive but it just opens up the back of the house so much and it's going to be like a kitchen living area so yeah it just feels like it's nice to have the little snug to cozy up in and then this will be when the extension's done the main area of the house and then this is our little kitchen which i've tried to make as cute as i can but i don't think it's really working i don't feel like there's much you can do with this space we basically have every single appliance you can think of because we're not currently using this oven we do use the hob but the look of the oven actually kind of terrifies me i could obviously get it deep cleaned to be honest we are making do with our air fryer microwave and i've recently bought a rice cooker which is the best investment i've ever made obviously you guys would have seen the little clips from when i was kind of moving into the kitchen and moving all of our stuff in here yeah we've filled up the cupboards um there's not enough storage space in here at all hence the stuff on the fridge all the stuff out on the sides um we are very much just making do with this kitchen but like i say it works and that's all you can ask for so this area will eventually be like a utility room a downstairs bathroom um and it will kind of be hidden behind a slat wall so this kind of structure will stay the same and then again the extension will go out into the garden that way we actually stayed in an airbnb in lisbon a little while ago and they've kind of given us inspiration as to what to do with this space in the extension so they had like a downstairs bathroom and i think a storage cupboard but it was kind of made a feature of the room so they had put a slatted wall all the way around it i'll pop a picture on screen because i'm probably not explaining this very well but we're essentially going to do the same thing with this so these walls from that side will be like all wooden slats with hidden doors in them so it just looks like more of a feature in the extension garden is very much the same still obsessed with the amount of space we have here but i mean we cut the grass and that's about it we're just kind of saving lots of ideas on pinterest and we will get around to this eventually i completely forgot to mention while we we're in there but we have already got some plans for our master bedroom so obviously we have this super king bed which is currently just a divan with a mattress on the top i think the divan cost me like 200 pounds and it has drawers either side but we're obviously just going to be reusing this in our master bedroom and we kind of wanted to make another feature headboard if you remember in my last house i actually built our headboard with my friend em she definitely listened a lot more in our textiles classes than i did because i didn't have a clue but it actually came together really nicely and i'd always get questions on where our headboard was from so we do still have those like slats the pieces from that um but i didn't really want to reuse it i wanted to do something a little bit different this is just a box of samples that we got so we can decide exactly what we want but again i'll pop a picture here of the exact headboard that we're going for it's just like a half height all wooden slats in like an oak color um with little led lights and then obviously this divan in front of it so yeah they sent over a load of samples of their new insu slat walls and these basically have like a felt backing to them so they help keep the heat in there's so many other benefits to using these which we were really intrigued by so we picked out the natural oak color i believe it's called we have the light gray here and the light walnut there are a couple of other swatches in here but i just kind of preferred especially looking online the look of like a natural oak like an actual wood color so we are in the process of sorting out the master bedroom and starting to build our dream headboard which i'm very very excited about i feel like it's going to look so nice when it's done but yeah that is it for the updated house tour i hope you enjoyed this i'm sure many of you will be like what the hell like so many things have happened that i've not seen and i am really sorry that we've not documented it as much as i would have loved to we have just kind of been here there and everywhere and really cracking on with things when we're home so i've just not picked up the camera as much as i probably should have but now you know where it's at i can bring you along a lot more i'm sure brad can update you guys day to day on what he's working on and yeah i can keep you a bit more posted in terms of the house please feel free to hit subscribe give me a follow on instagram i'm always updating my stories and everything over there also follow the home instagram because brad is always updating those stories as well and he's always asking for your guys opinion on things so if you want to get involved and help him out a bit then make sure you're following that thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and i will speak to you very soon in my next video bye guys